Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in Hearts of Iron 4. So, in this uh, small series you could say, I'm gonna place the Soviet Union, alright, but the difference will be that, that I'll play infantry only. Infantry only and the small air force. And most support companies, at least not for this run. So, we play on regular with historical AI on, all of the basic thing, I mean, historical AI can be pretty boring, but that's the only way you are guaranteed to get a challenge, as, uh, when you, when you play a certain nation, so that's about that, so, I had already started one, but I failed that, so, um, and now we'll have another run. So, we'll be playing infantry only, guys, and guys, if you like episodes like this, please let me know in the comments down below. As I've promised, I'll be infantry only, so three factories infantry, you have delete spur equipment, artillery, light tank. Well, I mean, we need truck and train, so we'll keep those on, but other than that, and also just how I've said, a small air force, and then that's it, guys. So, let's stay tuned. But again, the continue of the first few years will be pretty boring, essentially. Where we don't do much, I'll just get keep Stalin into power or ensure that the purge isn't as bad. So yeah. Well guys, again, I cannot emphasize the importance of finishing this paranoia path as soon as possible. And the important thing is, do not purge your, uh, your head of the NKVD. If you do, your weekly increase will be even more, so I'm gonna show you when the event pops up. Right, is there nothing more fun than encircling three fascist divisions in Spain? <laughs> Conspiracy among civil servants, what is that? Why do I have to deal with this? No absurd overreaction, but now it's 40. Well, now it's minus 20 though, but we cannot succeed further. We can do the anti-Soviet Trotsky center, so I don't think I have to do anything else. I think it's fine, since it's just 22 now. Okay, okay, good, good, good. So let's try to encircle more divisions right there. I don't know why the Portuguese are helping them, to be honest, but well. I'm just here because this is the only state where there's an unplanned offensive. So, uh, where well, there is not that modifier, I mean. So we can conduct offensives in that region, respectively. As believe it or not, we did a, another very, very sweet encirclement right there. Isn't that amazing, guys? Oh no, you cannot break out, you cannot break out right there. So that is that. We just gotta ensure that they cannot fill the gaps. Let's make them motorized, fully motorized. Maybe that is gonna help. And then we're gonna crush these remaining forces in the cauldron. Oh yes, I forgot. I should do help the Spanish. Help the Spanish. Oh, I forgot that, guys. I forgot that. Now probably they're gonna break out in the Civil War because we didn't do that. Yes, oh, of course, the Second Defensive Council of Aragon has... Uh, Revolted like why wouldn't they right like, like like why wouldn't they? Like, is that the time guys is that the time to revolt now as I'm afraid but all of our tank divisions got encircled They got completely encircled in Spain. Well, so this has backfired pretty badly, but but okay Okay, so we lost six tank divisions uh, Yeah, well uh, things are as they are so um so that's a victory for the Axis, for sure. Either we kill Arseny Golovko, uh, or we don't. Up to five leaders get the trade count by Stalin. Five! I'm not gonna do that, I'm sorry. There's an Axis. Now it's 51, though. So we gotta do the workers' dictatorship. Oh, damn. No, oh, bloody hell. Forge reports, inspection in the, uh, in the Navy. Okay, so let's reduce it at least. We can kill Philip of Aktiabrsky. It is 24, so if I don't, then it goes up by 10. And I think I have to kill him. I'm sorry. Because otherwise, uh, bad things are gonna happen, which we don't want. Well, we gotta kill Konstantin Rakasovsky or Grigor Kulik. I'll get rid of Kulik. I mean, he didn't help us with the paranoia at all, because he was a level 1 leader. That's better than nothing, right? So I've got to keep this low, so I'm going to go ahead and make the inspection in the army. Just to reduce that a little, little bit. It's a tiny bit. It's 30 now, still. We can sign a pact with the Germans, or we don't. Uh, well, I I'm not going to sign the pact. No. I'm going to not. 
No pack is the fascist this time. Civilization and discipline. Let's do pack of collective security. Send advisors to Spain. Oh wow, really? So uh, why am I even sending advisors? Well, at least we'll get a free field marshal uh, if we can finish this in time. Oh my god, advisor accused of treason. So I'm gonna purge Trochevsky, Yegorov, Blucher, Primakov, or... Or none. Well, uh, I mean, I... I have... Okay, but aren't they the same ones? They're the same ones, so... Why did I get two events? So, boom, but but then, okay, so... I, I, I purged the same guys twice, essentially. Did I? Yeah, I purged the same guys twice. <laughs> For whatever reason. Well, alright, all so... We are soon done with this, just gonna go to the block of Trotsky, it's still left. Well, our paranoia had become dangerously high with it being 52, but we are doing the third Moscow trial. They will be purged and we have completed the political paranoia event. There is no political paranoia anymore. The good thing now is we can seek a defensive pact with the Allies, which I'll do so I'll improve relations. I don't think it actually helps, right? So, um, yeah, they should accept them. Now we can include Poland in the defensive agreement. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Poland will be included. Yeah, sure, they have a point. So now let's see what happens. Uh, did we sign a defensive pact? France agrees to our non aggression pact. Great. So if the German Soviet French Polish pact, what does the agreement of war against us? Germany is just against us already. They are justifying against us already, like, really, what, what are they even doing? Uh, the Soviet-French-Polish pact. Well, this is going to uh, curtail German aggression for sure, I bet. For sure. I hope, at least. Well, we'll see. As at last, we can sign the Mort of Ribbentrop pact. Of course we'll say no to it. We'll do no deals with two fascists. Italy joined the German Reich. An act non-aggression pact with Turkey. Yes, we'll go. I'm doing off a Poland protection. We are already protecting them. <coughs> Though very um, interestingly. Our army is around 2.48 million standing troops. We have 127 unassigned divisions. So the Germans will uh, will uh, will deal with a massive onslaught of Soviet troops. That's for sure. The thing is, I don't know how the um, supply situation will look like for them. It will be a problem, most likely, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really, really very fun war, though. One which I didn't experience before in this extent, for sure. Question is, if they're gonna go and declare war or not. So, Poland accepts protection. So, we will take the uh, Eastern Provinces. But for that, okay, they accepted it. That actually was not expected that they would accept that. Okay, well, so they willingly uh, lost size. But okay, well, that's that's an interesting move for sure. Uh, I should prioritize uh, garrisons though at all cost now. And now we can do claims on Bessarabia or not. I I won't do claims on Bessarabia for now. But I will influence Scandinavia. So let's do the respective policies. Will Poland accept our military in their field? That was the question. I don't think they will. Because messing our troops on the front looks like this. We have to ensure that we have a steady flow. So I'm just gonna go and upgrade the bottlenecks as much as possible in these regions. That should help tremendously, I think, with the uh, infrastructure effort. And pri prioritize this at once. So uh, we get going that way. There's a justification against us. Who is justifying? Germany. Is it Germany? Who is it? Yes, of course it's Germany. Poland refuses German ultimatum. What's gonna happen next? Will they really declare war and risk? Okay, Germany declared war on Poland. Uh, join! Third five year plan disrupted. So we joined the war. We honored our call. Invite the faction. Poland joined the common turn, guys. Poland joined the common turn. Well. So, uh, I think Germany is gonna get defeated really, really fast in this scenario. <laughs> really, really fast. Let's move our troop at once, at once, to the uh, Polish positions, which we have promised our Polish brothers and sisters. 
thing is, they should join the war as well. Come on, let's, let's go ahead. So the Germans will face uh, three million Soviet infantry in the field. Oh, my PC just froze. The problem is, as the biggest issue is that uh, Poland is already losing from this territory, and our troops are still moving into the field. That's the issue. They're still moving in. Sport-wise, it will be more than terrible. Uh, I'll, I'll, of course, like non-aggression pact. There, there we go. Let's try to push into uh, into Königsberg at least. Try to make some gains. And we have a massive air force which we can utilize. So the Germans have around 1.5 million troops, and the Allies have around uh, 4.5 million. So uh, good luck with that, German. I'd say my air power isn't even in the field. That's the thing. Guys, if we try to attack, this is how things look like. We are overwhelming uh, most of the Germans by, by sheer force of attack. If that looks that way, well, I mean, I'm not gonna attack them, but we aren't making any progress, so we should at once seize all offensive operations against Germany in that region. It's just a bloody slaughter fest. Seize, seize, all at once. Just try to encircle them in this region, if that works. Uh, if we can cut them off there, it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be more than amazing. Let's believe it or not, we have cut off the entire German army in Königsberg, interestingly. All of them. Completely cut off in Königsberg. Well, so, uh, okay. Meanwhile, let's get war economy as well. And infrastructure-wise, yeah, well, it's not, of course not good. But, but we cannot uh, change the situation because it's Poland. We have mass assault of the Uyghur Superior... Firepower. That's that's the uh, best doctrine by far. So we did we did encircle 14 German divisions. I guess 14 German divisions, only with infantry. So we inflicted uh, were more casualties on the Germans than they did on us. And let's see. Uh, well, they could technically, I suppose, break out, but we won't let them. We won't let them. Just full on attack. They're getting wiped out one after one. The losses are rising tremendously, so... And look, it's flashing green on the entire front line, so we are protecting Poland, indeed. We are fulfilling our promise, our, uh, our promises, actually. Question now is if we want to claim Bessarabia, because I think if we claim Bessarabia, then the Romanians will become and join the Axis power. So I'm not sure about that, so I'm not gonna go and claim that. We're gonna find it out this way. I'll just go ahead and what should we get, guys? Eradicate Western Fascism. Yes, defensive country. Defensive bonus against these countries. That's great. Well, support-wise, this is how the situation looks like. Not the best, it's because it's extremely, extremely overloaded. Oh, well, we can just make them full motorization, which I have not. We need... Uh, okay, we have full attrition now. We have... Wow, okay. We are doing fine support-wise, actually. I guess I can't see any choice but to try to attack at least because they are attacking the Benelux. So let's go. How does it, it, I forgot to record. I just said, guys, I tried to attack, but attacking only with infantry is just, 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 just. Well, to put it that way, it is uh, a very, very costly undergoing and I'm not making I didn't make any progress whatsoever to put the least I didn't make any progress I only lost uh, territories actually yeah so I need to stop the attack so only attacking with infantry that's that's simply not possible okay <laughs> uh, I don't know how to win this the thing is the Germans are attacking our front lines brutally with all they got so Oh, how did I lose 10 divisions there? How did 10 divisions get encircled? Okay, well, that is bad. That is bad. So our losses are gonna be like plus 100,000 now. So truly a great patriotic war, guys, to say the least. To say the very least, truly. That case. Well, they did manage to capture the, the Benelux. And, well, I've successfully killed Lev Trotsky. <laughs> it was me who ordered his uh, assassination, by the way. So, yeah. As our military is still purged, we still have the uh, we still have the penalties, so I need to rehabilitate my military. Of course, I forgot that. Well, the Germans cannot really break through the line still. I mean, we have only two million troops. I would have hoped that we have more. We are getting more and more infantry, so uh, I can 
add another line of infantry to our ranks. Yeah. Well, meanwhile, we can go ahead and send the ultimatum to Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. I hope that they do their... Well, they have nice factories, so let's go ahead and send ultimatum to all of them. Let's also promote ideological rallies in our... Uh, so, yes, the Germans are just grinding themselves towards our, our front. They're, we lost half a million, the Germans lost uh, one million. They just want to break through somehow, but we are not letting them. We are not letting them break through. And they successfully annex Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. So, three new comrades to the Reich. How do I just have 100,000... How do I have 100,000... Okay, how, how did I... Did I just inherit all of their... All of their... Uh, inventory or what? Well, okay, so uh, what should I do? Should I just pump out new troops? Guys, I, I, I don't know. Or should I just uh, maximize out this template? What is the best thing to do? I don't know. Well, guys, what I'll just do is I can't be bothered waiting for them to train. I'll just go ahead and maximize out... Uh, our existing division. So will we afford this? It's 37,000. That's great. Let's do uh, one more. Now it's 19,000. That's also okay. Now let's just let the reinforcements flow in. Well, they're uh, just grinding themselves towards us. They lost 1.3 million already. <laughs> we only gonna be with 14%. Why? Because of... Uh, okay, because we didn't do most of the occupation. Well, let's see who will control uh, most of Germany then. I think, I think the Allies. Well, the Axis, they don't stand any chance whatsoever though. Unfortunately, the Germans are about to, to capture uh, Warsaw. I am gonna go ahead and mount a counter-attack. Is there... Uh, let's see. Well, it is, it is not as... Okay, it's pretty bad. We aren't making any gains. But we have to counter them with something, right? So we already lost around a million troops. So <laughs> well, come on, can we break through somewhere, at least in some province? If we just break through in one province, that's all we need. But I don't think we can. At least we are managing to hold them off Warsaw. But I can't see that we'll make any breakthrough anywhere. So this is truly a bloody... Bloody great. Keep in mind, guys, we have 3 million, 3 million troops on the field, the twice the amount of all of the axes combined with that regard. So if we break through there, we did break through there, that's great. I'll go straight to Danzig. Well, they reinforced it. How did they reinforce it so quickly? I don't know. Magic. Magic, you may say. Let's go ahead, attack Danzig, maybe just make a breakthrough there. It's not going well. 1.04 million. Air superiority, uh, we don't have air superiority there actually, really, so why? Because they're just shooting down our fighters, so we need more, more fighters for sure. Well, I've got a call of the offensive, uh, call it off because it's just an absolute slaughter. Uh, this was a very lethal offensive causing us half a million casualties and we didn't make any gains. Whatsoever. Uh, we captured some provinces there, but our units are in extremely low supply there, so uh, better we even give that up. Yeah, we're suffering from low supply in all across the uh, front line. Of course, Bulgaria joined, right? Well, well, guys, I wish. Can I send troops to the eastern front? Let's see. Ask. Battery access. Ask. So they're giving us access, that is good. I'll see, guys. I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll just go ahead, because we have so many troops on this front, I'm just gonna send all of these troops, uh, except you, to, uh, to them. I just see I completely abandoned this front line. Well, that was a kind of dumb, not a smart move, but, well, uh, what you gonna do, right? So I'm gonna try my luck. I'm gonna dispatch all of these troops, but uh, at war... 99% of being detected and it's 99% guys. Okay, so I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna try with these 16 divisions. I mean, our navy should provide us with support, right? Right, come on. I mean, we have a navy. I assigned them to do to help us. Let's see how it goes. Will they arrive at the question? Well, they did arrive unharmed. Really? Okay, well, that's pretty... So much about the 99% chance. 
<laughs> well, so Soviet troops right there. I'm gonna just send the rest. Rest. Let's see if we suffer any casualties. So right now we are on um, 1.3 million. Let's see how that number goes up. Well, bad thing, bad news. Romania just joined the war. It was kind of unexpected, but but okay. So now we have so many divisions in this front line. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to push. Which actually are looking pretty well. If the allies would just help us. So there's pretty lots of green. And now it's getting red though. If the allies would just help us. Well, they, they, they invaded uh, Schleswig-Holstein already. So uh, I think we're gonna uh, make a form the conclusion of this war pretty quick. I'm just gonna try to <coughs> attack them at both fronts now. Let's see. Attack. Okay, well, they are... Uh, I like an... Arrow here, so that's pretty uh, pointless. Now, okay, it's not looking good. I mean, with only infantry, this is the best you'll get, I suppose, right? <laughs> yeah, we have 1.6 million losses. The Germans have 2.2 million. Well, let's see. There must be some fronts where we can break through, surely. Maybe here. Let's see. Uh, no, let's. That's already. It's just a back. It's it's a constant back and forth. A constant back and forth with infantry only. I will seize all offensive operations after we capture back our province right there on the river because we are uh, we are on a heavy debt deficit and it's just well just a meat grinder essentially so uh, yeah stop stop and you stop as well. Well guys we know things would be far easier if we had artillery but we only have infantry that's why we lost 1.9 million soldiers so uh, well, anyways, the the allies, the axes are only present in Europe, but it's it's uh, more mostly become a breakthrough now. It's only because we don't have artillery, just have infantry. Anyway, guys, I thank you all for watching. Let me know how you like this. Uh, I mean, we could win it, but it would be a very very long drawn out uh, war. So, uh, if you want to see the continuation, though, let me know. And I wish you all a great day, and see you next time.